Hello folks, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to push images into your container registry. If you don't have a repository already or a registry created, I will show you how to create a registry and then how to push a simple image into that registry itself. Today we are going to use the Frankfurt region. I am already in the ECR registry page. If you are not sure how to go there, go to services and choose ECR and you will reach here. And the first step is, as you can see, there is no registry here. I'm going to create one and I'm going to call it my first repo. That is as simple as that. You just go ahead and type in name and then you get the registry URL. So if you want to push images into the registry, then all the commands that are necessary to do it is shown here. We can just go ahead and try to run this into our terminal where you have access to this uh, account with the AWS CLI, then we will be able to push the images. So let us go to our terminal and see how to do this. Before going ahead and start building the images, I'm going to show you how to create a repository from the command line if you're interested. If you remember, we already created one repository called as my first demo and I'm going to create one more repository now and I'm going to call this repository as predict attire for weather and the command is as simple as AWS ECR create repository and then followed by the repository name and then the region where you want to create. Once you do that, you get the repository URL. Let us go ahead and describe the repository to see whether you get both repositories now. There you go, you can see there, there is the my first repo and then predict attire for weather. So what we are going to do now is, as of now, there is no Docker image here in this dev laptop. I'm going to create a simple Docker image, build that image and push it into this repository. We are going to create a very, very simple Docker file and that Docker file is going to have only these three lines. We are going to use the Alpine OS as our base layer and then we are going to create a maintainer to know that who is managing this image, who is owning this image and then you can contact that person if an update that is required on this image. And finally, this image is going to do a very simple task. When you run it, it is going to print out a small string which says, hello, welcome to Galaxy. So let us go ahead and create this Docker file and build our image. Now my Docker file has been created. I have already installed Docker here. If I go to Docker images, you see that there are no images right now. Let us go ahead and build our first Docker image. The command is simple as Docker build and then the application name that you want or the image name that you want. Remember the dot at the end. That is going to say that the Docker file is in the same directory. Just go ahead and run it. My image has been built. And if I go ahead and see Docker images, you can see here Alpine, that is the operating system, the base layer was downloaded. With that base layer, my new image is also created. Now that my image has been built, let us go ahead and quickly run it to make sure everything is in order. And you can see here the text is printed out on my screen. Hello, welcome to Galaxy. So now my image is ready. Let us go ahead and push it into the repository. The first thing is you need a credentials so that your Docker commands can push the image to the repository. So let us go ahead and get the access token. This command is going to get the access token and it will make sure that the corresponding output is also sent back to AWS. And if you see the on your screen, login is succeeded then the access token is stored temporarily on the uh, location of Docker credential store. Before pushing the image, we are going to inform ECR that this particular image ID, that is the one that is starting with E7, as you can see here, is going to be tagged as my first repo with the tag name as latest. I have tagged it. I'm going to push it now into ECR. So you can see here my image is getting pushed there. Let us go to the console and see my image is available there. So this is the repository that where we pushed our images. And you can see here the latest images there. That is how you push images into your ECR. In the following videos, we are going to see how to set up permissions for your registry so that users within your account or across accounts can access your images and build based on those images. And we are also going to see how to create lifecycle policies so that older images can be automatically deleted based on tags. Go ahead and try this in your account. If you have any problems, put them in the comment section or in our Slack channel. If you like our content, go ahead and like and share our content with your colleagues. We all can learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.